and welcome back to DML. So we have two brand new events that have just begun in DML. And so the main event that we have is the high and dry event where the final reward is the adorable little raincoat dragon. So you know I love this dragon and he was part of that community voting contest for his colours. So he is a water, earth and light epic. Not that great of a dragon, but still, if you're like early to mid game and you want to use him, why not? So, in this high and dry event, you can get the cloud dragon at tier 2 and the lightning dragon at tier 5 as well. But to progress, all that you have to do is do these three quests that appear at the bottom of your screen for every tier. So, for this tier, we have to collect gold, feed dragons, and catch creatures. So, simple enough. Go and collect gold by clicking on all of your habitats. You know, so we'll keep going until the handbags go away and we can't collect anymore. I guess we have to collect extras as well. It seems like the server's really slow at the minute as well, by the way. So take that into account. So we've done that and now we need to feed dragons. So you can do this using the dragons of any level really, but obviously the lower their level is, the less food you're going to waste. So try and get some level 1 dragons and feed those guys up if you want to do the feeding quest. So then both of those are now done for now. And catching creatures, we just have to wait for the creatures to spawn. So that is as much as we can possibly do in this event for now, but since feeding dragons is every 10 minutes. I recommend coming back every sort of 30 minutes or so, 30 to 40 minutes, just to make sure you're getting all the resets that you can. And we'll keep moving on until we get to tier 7. And so, the second event that is also out right now is the Good Chemistry event. And it seems like the screen was a little bit broken there. So it says, during the event, you can get the awesome Chemistry Dragon by using their parents in the Breeding Den. So we have the opportunity to potentially breed this Chemistry Dragon, but we need two other dragons before we can do that. And so we need to have a School Bus and the Raincoat Dragon to be able to breed this Chemistry. So the School Bus Dragon, I love him. I think he's so outrageously ridiculous. That I adore the dragon. But to breed him, we have to breed together lava and venom dragons. And then we have to breed him with the raincoat dragon from the other event. So that's the reason why the high and dry event is important to be taking part in. Because if you do not finish the high and dry event, you can't breed the chemistry dragon either. So just make sure you take that into account. And remember, you cannot get the chemistry dragon unless you also get the raincoat dragon from the other event. So anyway, we need to be going ahead and breeding these lava and venom dragons together. So where are you? Where are you? Lava? Oh my god, he's exploring, really? Well, we'll take him out quick. But again, this is a very complex event in that you have to do multiple different things in order to actually get to the other thing. So... You know, you gotta be on it this week. Make sure you're doing everything that you possibly can to increase your chances. But let's hope that we get lucky, right? Lava and Venom. So both of mine are at level 30. I'm not sure if that's gonna make any difference, but let's go! And that is a four and a half hour breeding time. So I do not believe that that is what we need. So checking the wiki in the breeding calculator, the school bus dragon actually has a 22 hour breeding time normally, which is reduced to 17 and a half hours with VIP. So you, you will be able to tell whether you've gotten him straight away because there is no shared breeding time. But if we look at this combo on the actual breeding calculator itself, we have the armored, the minotaur, the orange sunflower tree, and war dragons as other possible outcomes. And plus, there's also the chance to breed the avocado dragon as well, if, you, if you're uh, someone that actually unlocked the thing. So overall, the combo is kind of difficult. It is, I'm not gonna lie. When we have the dragon of the week, and we have all of this going on at the same time, there is just so much breeding to do and possible outcomes and such. So, honestly, breeding the school bus is going to be difficult. And I think you have to decide, do you want the chemistry dragon? Do you want the school bus dragon? Or do you want the dragon of the week? 
And do you want the breeding token dragon? Because we've got the scribble dragon as well. So, we have all of that. We have the dragon of the month as well. DML is going insane at the moment. Absolutely insane. But, you know, oh well, you know. I do want to breed the full dragon as well. So, for that, obviously, I have been using the orange and wind dragons. We will do it again and see what we get. I am finding the second breeding den quite handy for situations like this, especially right now. And what do we get? Another six hours. Our luck is just not with us in game at the moment. Feels bad, man. Feels bad. Oh, and of course there's a stupid mystic dragon in the hatchery as well. Disgusting. Absolutely disgusting. And so we can actually collect more gold already because I'm not sure why, but the collect gold quest is super duper short, but the feeding quest is super duper long. I would expect them to make them finish at sort of around about the same time, but apparently not. So it's actually almost done already. It's just the feeding dragons takes by far the longest out of everything in this tier. So it's sort of annoying. But on top of that, do remember that you need to be logging in every day for the green thumb event. So we will be able to get the garden dragon at the end of all of this, which, you know, a free legendary, considering all the breeding and whatnot. That's nice. At least we get a free thing, right? <laughs> oh, look, it's not that bad. And at least the breeding combo for the school bus is using decently simple dragons. So, you know, Venom and Lava, really easy to get a hold of, for example. It's just... <laughs> The, the actual amount of outcomes and different breeds that are going on is just a lot to take in. And I don't like the fact that we have to choose between certain limited times. It's like you have to choose your favourite rather than being able to get all of them. It's really upsetting, actually. And so, along with everything else, I do also want to remind you quick that the new Elite League should be unlocking today. Because this current league will be ending in just over four and a half hours. And so everyone that places top 75 or above and has three level 80 plus dragons should be getting promoted into the new league. So as soon as that comes out, I will be heading straight into it, seeing if we get any new dragons to unlock and um, trying to gain as many points as I physically can as soon as it starts. Because again, you can build heavy, heavy wind streaks early on but the longer you leave it the harder it's gonna be because then the harder opponents are gonna start coming in so <laughs> I, I guess i need to save every single gem that i have for that because i don't think i have many arena gems left at the moment but oh the elite league is gonna be a massive pain and i don't remember are there three three tiers of leagues in the elite league or is it just one singular, like, top tier league? I don't remember. I guess we'll find out later, though. <laughs> no point in just randomly guessing for now. We might as well just wait for it. But damn. I mean, what dragon are you choosing to breed at the moment? You can see that I've chosen to go for the dragon of the month. We already got the weekly breed. I already have the scribble dragon. So for me, it's quite handy. But I can imagine that for you know, newer players. It's probably quite overwhelming. And oh my god, I love the fact that now we can open multiple card packs at the same time. It actually saves so much time. And there we go, we got a Quake Dragon as well. And we got another Cinder Dragon. Fantastic. There you go. Not that it really matters, since we already have them. I guess it does though, because we can always ascend them. That's a good point. That's a good point, imaginary person that didn't say anything in my head. Although, I have to say, for Ascension, it's a lot worse than I thought it was going to be. Because you only get quality materials out of, like, other legendaries. And so far, I haven't had any duplicate legendaries. So... The materials I've been getting given have been really bad. Which is quite depressing. But, you know... 
It is what it is. And you want us to complete another clan quest game? Fine, we will complete another clan quest. Give your dragons 3,000 food. Easiest quest of my life. There we go. So now... We need to go and accept it in the clan screen. And now we can go into the daily quests and get our daily ticket. Well, card pack. Every time I see that yellow, makes me happy. Every time I see that yellow. And is anyone else experiencing it when they go to open card packs and it's really, really buggy? Because it kept happening on stream the other day and it just happened there as well. Where you'll keep hitting the button and it will not work, but then it will just suddenly start flipping and then you'll automatically skip it. So I don't even know how many pieces I have, but it keeps happening. And it's only since the new update came out, so I imagine that's probably a completely unintentional bug. So, um, I would love to see that fix soon, because it just feels really annoying to actually open up packs. But, we'll see. We'll see what happens. Oh, actually, I just remembered. We got some enchantment tickets, didn't we? We got enchantment chest tickets this morning from the Green Thumb event. How many do we have? Wait, wait, wait. Yeah, we have 17 of them. Okay, I'm opening two epic chests. I'm doing it. I'm doing it. Come on, give me some divine mats. Give me some legendary. No legendary, but we did get an extraordinary divine. Okay, I'm happy with that. I'm happy with that. Could have been worse, I guess. Could have also been better, but, you know, even though it was only one singular divine one, and you're like, wow, that's awful, it feels pretty good, because it takes so many trinkets to get even one extraordinary divine piece. It's crazy. Absolutely crazy. Although, if instead of getting that one divine mat, we'd have gotten, like, ten legendary ones... I probably would have been a little bit happier with that trade, but, you know, it is what it is. I just wish that the actual purchased purple chests, like those with the enchantment tickets, I really do wish they gave more resources out of it, because you can see that we barely got anything out of that chest, considering how much money they actually cost. And we got another purple chest there as well, which still didn't give us any legendary. Have they decreased the drop rate for legendary mats this patch? I seem to be getting more divine than legendary now. It's like, typically, it's like, hmm, we're gonna bring out 8 star enchantment. And in response, we're going to take away all of your legendary mats that drop. Hee <laughs> hee. That would be like the ultimate troll, I swear. Absolute troll. I hope that that's not the case. I don't think they have. Maybe we've just gotten super unlucky. It's like, if you remember way back when, when we were still breeding for the enchantment dragons, like the old ones, we never got the energy material drops that we needed. Like, there's some energy drops now. I would have appreciated that a long time ago. But they just never drop when you want them to. It's like watching a kettle that's boiling. You know that old saying? Well, if you watch the kettle as it's boiling, it seems to take forever, right? That's what it's like. But instead, it's just your RNG gets turned to poop. And it's like, oh, you want legendary? Here's void. Oh, you want energy? Here's void. Oh, you want water? Here's divine. Like, I don't know. The game's just a massive troll. I think we've already established that over time. But... You know, I do remember, though, that in the mini solo event, we might have dungeon battles to do. So, while you are progressing through, I would recommend not doing your dungeon battles until in as late into the day as you can. Because you don't want to end up missing doing the actual dungeon in the event. Because if you put yourself that far behind, you're screwed. And one other thing to remember during these events, obviously is that you do not want to be putting in super long food timers. 
And ideally, you probably don't want to be putting in super long breeding times either, but I don't think that's really possible with the current events that are going on. So, we'll collect the last bit of gold and the, do the last bit of feeding that we can. Uh, who's another lower level dragon? Oh, whatever. We'll just feed the priestess again. So, I don't know why it's every 5 to 10 minutes that these keep coming back, but it's super long, but... Can we do seven tiers in four days? I think it's going to come down completely to the timers on each of these tiers. I miss the times where you could do tier one in like 20 minutes. Where are those days? Now it takes like an hour. Ugh. Long. So long. But anyway, guys, make sure you are getting in on these new events. And, you know, I hope my advice, you take it to heart. And I hope it helps you out as best as it can. Best of luck with breeding and anything else that you're doing, and until next time, I will see you then.